The goalies is one of the areas where there was a surprise. We got uh, Matt Turner, Ethan Horvath, and Sean Johnson that made the team. Defense, Cameron Carter, Bicker, Serginho Dest, Aaron Long, Shaq Moore, Tim Ream, uh, Anthony Robinson, Joe Scali, DeAndre Yedlin, and Walker Zimmerman, a lot of defenders on that list. In midfield, Kellen Acosta, Tyler Adams, Luca De La Torre, Weston McKinney, Eunice Musa, Christian Roldan, and then forwards, Brendan Aronson, Jesus Ferreira, Jordan Morris, Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, Josh Sargent, Tim Weah, and Haji Wright. A big surprise there. There are surprises. We'll get into some of the guys that made the team in just a sec, but I think we want to start, Coach, with one of the guys that isn't on the roster, a guy that was really, for us, the surprise when the news kind of broke last night. No Zach Steffen. Uh, what went into that decision? You know, I think part of it was looking at the, the players that we do have and exactly the roles that they would fill at the World Cup. And we feel confident that we have three really good goalkeepers and um, the hierarchy in the, in the goalkeeper line, I think, is set pretty well. And these guys are ready to perform. Greg, let me ask you, you personally, about making the decision to leave Zach Steffen off. You've known him since Columbus. Yeah. Uh, he was with you at the U.S. Men's National. You backed him many times. He was kind of your guy. Like, personally, what was that like to have to tell him that he wasn't going to go to the World Cup? It, it was really hard and, and perhaps one of the hardest calls that I had to make. And, um, you know, a part of it is looking at this body of work over the last year and a half and, and thinking that, um, you know, we needed more out of Zach. And, um, you know, it, it's a shame. And, you know, I think he still has the potential to come back and, and play in a World Cup in his career. And it, I think it's more about him and, and what, he's, what he's investing and what willing to invest in his career. Do you have a clear idea who your number one is? You know, I, I, what, uh, I said it before. I think that the tendency is to think that Matt's going to be the number one. Mm -hmm. he's, he's playing at the highest level. He, you know, he's played a bunch of games this fall. He's really increased his level at, at Arsenal. And, um, but, you know, we have to see how he comes into camp. He did have a, a nagging injury, and we'll have to assess him when we get into camp. As far as goalies, like, is, how important is it to have that position locked down? Um, it's important to have every position locked down, right? But, um, you know, what I would say is Matt is trending positively. Ethan Horvath's playing really well with his team. Uh, Sean Johnson had a good ending to his season in, in um, New York City. So either way, I think, like I said, we're confident that we have a guy that can get the job done. You know, if I could very quickly, you mentioned that Zach wasn't doing what he needed to do to get into the camp. I'm just curious, every big game, and Matt Turner in an interview with us, he said, listen, Zach's got in every big game, Mexico, Costa Rica, uh, when healthy, he was the man. So to go from the top guy to not into the roster, what went into that? Yeah, I, I would just back up a little, Hurricane, just think about, um, you know, time. You know, I, I think you're referring to November of 2021, Correct. right? World Cup I mean, qualifying. Yeah, so a lot has happened then. Uh, you know, Matt's moved on. He's, he went to Arsenal. He's playing at a really high level. He's playing against guys um, that play for the England team every single day in training. Mm. So, it, again, I think the focus is on, you know, how Matt has improved. And has Matt done, you know, the job Matt's done over the course of, this, of the period? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.